Well, as you can see, it's wet. So this is going on day three now. The forecast has changed every day. We're meant to be getting a bit of a break in it today, hence why everything's rigged up, ready to go. Yesterday, it was 20% um, chance of rain, which I can work with, and bugger all wind. So today, it's uh, it's jumped way up to 70% chance of rain, which, fun fact, something I didn't know for a long time, doesn't mean that there's 70% chance that it will rain. It means that 70% of that area that you're looking at will get rain. So, um, soz for ruining your week on that one, but that's what that actually means. Now, it's been super unreliable, this like, it's meant to be under 10 knots all day today. You can see there, it's already gusting, or actually got way up to 20 knots and then gusting 25s. So, that's kind of what we've been working with. And then, go down here, uh, cloud cover, pretty much 100%, a little bit of a break in it. And then obviously that'll bring the rain with it and will correlate to that cloud cover. So all up today, it's saying sort of like, we've already had 10 mil, but it's gonna be close to 30 mil, I think it said here before. So anyways, it is what it is another day of rain. I tried to fish the other day, all my stuff gets fogged up and like the car and stuff, everything's just like, just shove everything in there, do stuff real quick. Stuff will get wet, rain dribbles in, it gets in, so you're just like, you should see it, it's a mess. Actually, I will show you actually, because it's um, yeah, a mess. All right, welcome to the nightmare. I've got rubbish boxes from deliveries from people. Um, turn that light on. We are sitting at currently 13.3 volts, which is pretty good, considering, is that a focus? Considering we've had heaps of rain. Battery charges there, got some other stuff charging. All just rubbish, really. All the uh, rods are in the boat, so they're getting a good rinse at the moment. There's some washing that's been in and out of the car 10 times. Just, you can see like the water just like drips down off the canopy here. So you gotta sort of just do your thing and, and get out real quick. All right, on this side, you can see when you first, you first open up, you get all this drippiness on this edge here, and then it drips onto the fridge, drips onto here, drips onto the barbie, drips onto everything. More rubbish I've got to get rid of. <laughs> Living the dream, eh? So, and then the fridge, oh, you won't be able to see, but it sort of gets like this super like condensation around it with all the rain, like all this, and like all on here. So at the bottom of this, there'll be like a um, pool of water, which actually should probably clean out now, actually, which I'll, I will do that for now. That's one of the things I've got to do. Yeah, so yeah, that's just that's just me trying to um, pick up the camera just a little bit more. Um, last thing I want to do now is talk to the camera and whatever, because it's just been kind of a bit uninspiring. So anyways, it is what it is. So hopefully that gives you a little bit of insight. Um, and then, I'm gonna dry heaps of stuff out. I'm gonna do just try and tidy up today, and then tomorrow, it's it's all clear. It's like 80% clear, so we'll see. But I'm like 80% chance that I will see you in the morning for a little session on the water. And I think the fishing is actually gonna be really good. Um, so yeah, we'll see. All right. Good morning. Just come in this zone here, I think there's just enough water. There's a turtle back there, he almost, he was just daydreaming. And I was like, get out of the way, turtle. So, um, anyways, yeah, we're here. I'm gonna put this motor down. Ooh, one-handed motor down. And um, this is gonna be our zone this morning. I think there's just enough tide pushing in on it at the moment. So it's what, 6.20, 6.30 in the morning, so. I think we're gonna have just enough amount of tide here, just the right amount to start hitting it. So, then we'll work around the corner into some unfamiliar ground, and um, yeah, we'll just see what we can do today. We'll just see what we can do. The tide's very, very, very good today to get at these fish for that extended period of time, in that prime time of the bite. I talk about it all the time, that prime time. 
incoming um, clear water, prime time, stingrays everywhere here, stingray heaven. But anyway, we're gonna get in there, we're gonna rig something up, get into it. Don't even know what I'm using yet. This rod here, already rigged it up with a 5-0. Um, make sure you've got no weight on your hook. All right, so. Ooh, very clear, clean water here. This is very good. What you can see is this water is very, very clear. And even though it looks sort of not clear, like it looks a bit brown, just rigging up my little my little rig here. Um, even though it looks kind of brown, that's the bottom. So the bottom's like a sandy, muddy kind of thing, obviously. And then, so the water's crystal clear. So, and shallow. So that's kind of what we want. But yeah, I've just got this little pop frog here. I haven't put much time in with the frog, with the pop frog. But um, yeah, just rigged on a 5-0. 5-0 is pretty, um, pretty mint for it. Probably should chuck a bead on the back there. And then we'll, um, we'll get into it. Mm, a bit shallow here still, isn't it? A bit shallow still. Can you see him? He's sitting there. He's just sitting now. Oh, spook him. He was a big one too. I'm way in front of him. It's like he slowed down and looked at it and went, yeah, I'm in no man's land. I'm not eating that. First sign of life. Have a look at it. What a dog. Have a look. Oh, multiple barracudas. Oh, missed it. Fuck, I thought he had it. I thought he had that. As soon as we come around in that deeper water, eh? Oh, he got it that time. That has to be a barra. Oh, yeah, that's a barra. Yeah, I think that's a barra. The way he's behaving. In the snag. Yep, he's in the snag, all right. Fuck. What a dog. What a doofus. He's in there, too. He's like right in there. Just have to loosen up on him a bit. Loosen up on him. Loosen up on him. Not that much, though. So. Bring him back just a touch. Try and get my line out of here. Where is he? He's over there. I'm better off just fucking netting him over there. Better off just trying to net him like that, eh? Yeah, he's stuck on that stick. Can you see him there? Stuck on that stick, the buffet. Just gotta stick this. No, 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 don't go back in. Oh, he might go out. He might swim out. There's no way I came around here to net him and he's swimming out the other side. <laughs> Yeah, but he's got me around like that stick there, see? This is where you break rods. I'll just slowly drive the boat out from this snag. And there he is. There he is, Barramundi. What a penis. Oh, oh there he is. Oh, did he just go through my net? This barra has got to be the worst most uncivilized barramundi <laughs> do the old reverse net <laughs> no, it's no this fish is just a nightmare honestly honestly a nightmare this fish is a nightmare just get in the fucking net for christ's sake all right quickly get him undone and get him back in i had him pinned really well too didn't go anywhere. He was pinned very, very well. Get you undone, mate. I'll get you back in, being closed season and all. Alright, there you go. Quick look. There he is. And then, straight back in. Yeah, he's good as gold. But that's, like, the weirdest thing with those barra, is they go into a snag. You saw him. He just, like, I just let the pressure off him. Fully let the pressure off him. And um, he just sat in there like there was nothing wrong and he swam around and he swam out that side Then he swam out this side and he untangled himself. It's the weirdest thing. They are weird creatures All right, well, where did my frog go? Oh, I've still got my frog. 
thought I lost my frog there, eh? It's a good sign. It's only the first like 10 meters of this bank. So put in a little bit more time here and see what else we can find. Surely these little trees hold jacks. Oh! Missed it. Yeah. That's a barra. Oh my god. Tiny little barra. Come on, mate. Loosen him up a bit. Oh, little barry on the pop. Frog, I didn't even see him coming. Must have just been sitting in that stick just off the off the edge there. Get him in quick and get rid of him. Just a little dude. Just a little dude. Oh yeah. Got some peps. Little pepper boy. Oh, little fella. Boom. Pop frog. Oh yeah, that hook's just about to pop out. Oh no, it's got a bit of meat in it. That's all right. There we go. Little Barry. Oh, Barry, stop! I got you in pretty quick, didn't I? There he is, little there. Little dudes and off you go, mate. Nice quick release. He was a uh, very fired up little barramundi, that one. Come charging out. So, usually you have to finesse them a little bit, those, those barra, like if you, you know, if you're fishing them, like sometimes they just come out and look at stuff. You gotta sort of tease it away from them. But yeah, he was just all in. That dude, he was all in. These midges are next level, dude. Shit. Oh, did you see the fucking frog? Did you see it? Oh, there's a jack. Oh, yes, underneath, over the top. What is he? Over, under, over, and under. And left me on the snag, I would say. He's left me on the stick. I oh, know, he's still on there. I'm just going to try and get him out. He's still on there. Just chill, just chill. I was in a zone, that's for sure. I was in a super zone. I was in a super destroying zone. And he's done exactly that. Destroyed me. I can't see what he's got me on there. Oh, he's gone around the stick. Like double around. Man, how he went underneath that one. That's it. These shallow logs here. Oh, there's a fish. Oh, come out of nowhere. Oh, there's a jack with him. <laughs> that's two now. I'd prefer the red fella. That's but two, yeah, I can't I'll take get past him to get to the red ones. Oh, what's wrong with this? Same. Some sort of scar on him. These barrages on his chewing head. their heads off. I can't get away from Get these past sticks. them to get to the jacks. Kind of jack thing. with you know him, eh? Wouldn't have minded the red one, but these barra, I just can't. He's got some hectic scar on his, on his face. Oh my god. What's happened to your face, bro? Oh my goodness, look at that. Ooh, that's not from me. That's recent, though. That's like some sort of... He's still chewing, though. 
He's still chewing. He's chewing hard too, little doofus. Chewing hard, I don't know, it's got like a scabby part on it there. Wowzers. That is odd. Get you back in, eh? They're all settled. Jesus Christ, they got some pepper, eh? Oh goodness, pepper boy. Sit down, pepper. Little pepper. Oh my goodness, he's the most. They're just so uncivilized here at the moment. Alright, off you go. Fucking jeez. Jesus. Very uncivilized. He's sitting very shallow, just. Because that's real jacky in there. See how it's like. It's quite shallow. But obviously, there was a bar a bit on the outside there. They're just chewing their heads off. Chewing their bloody heads off today. Barra. Trying to set the hooks on those this time of year. Oh shit. Oh. Alright, another barra. If I go to the next bank. That's why I don't see anything on this flat. That's why crow crabbers have been up here zipping around. Let's go have a look. Let's go have a look. Oh my god, Jesus. That was a big barrel. Trying to set the hooks on them. <laughs> that's so hard not to set the hooks on a fish like that. Oh, that's pretty epic. Oh my god. Oh, he still wants it. Oh, he still wants it. <laughs> Just not setting the hook on him, eh? <laughs> he almost set the hook on himself. <laughs> See, that's why I jam him a lot, those fish, like especially Barra. Like he had that twice in his mouth and I didn't jam him. So it didn't properly, you know, pop the hook. So that's why sometimes you see the fish looks like it's eating it and then I pull it out of its mouth. Because you have to try and set that hook. Uh, especially with Barra, because they might grab it like that and run and then just let it go, so... It's close season anyway, that's why I'm not not particularly fussed on them. But I'd love a few red ones. Oh, there's a jack. Oh, he's busted me off. He got me right on top of the log. And just took... Oh, I hear that roller bearing just like sort of... Oh, another frog. That's two frogs today, I've lost. Two frogs down for the day. Both to fish. What the fuck? Oh my god. How is it even stuck on their door? Yeah, sick. Goodness, barras are just everywhere at the moment. Oh, 
Oh, there's a barrage I see now. Can I buff it? What are you gonna do? Oh my god. Trey, what are you doing? Get it in there and get that jack to fucking eat it. That's not a jack. That's a barra. Another barra. Fucking things, man. Everywhere. I'm stuck in the tree. Look at him just sitting there. Another barra. Oh, multiple, multiple barries. See, he had it. See how he had it? And he tugged them all on. It's insane. Oh my goodness gracious Jesus That was a barramundi Oh there he is He's a big one too <laughs> Oh my goodness Um, yep, that's red. That's red. Is that red? What happened? Oh, multiples. Multiple, multiple, multiple fish there. Multiple. Let's just get the one in, Drew. Oh my god. He got off. Multiples. I'm gonna throw this other rod in. Oh. I'm a dickhead, I was gonna throw that other frog in there. <laughs> too greedy, you see? Got too greedy. GTs. Oh my god, oh he's hooked himself. Nothing to do with me. He's just sitting there. What's he doing? Let go, thank you. Look at him, he's still sitting there looking for it. Like, like he didn't eat enough of it. Oh, he still wants it. What a weirdo. They're in a mood today, these barra. They're in a serious mood. Oh my god, that's the shittest cast known to man. That was the shittest cast known to man. We could actually get a cast in there like that. It might actually get destroyed. There he is. I oh, got him that time. Oh, I got him. Come on. Oh, he had some pepper. I was way up there though. <laughs> Salt and pepper, mate. <laughs> I knew if I could get up there, I'd be onto one. There he is. Oh, mate. You're in a mood today, man. The faster I wound that, the more, the more he wanted it. I had to get it over two or three sticks, and I saw him come up and chase it over the top of the sticks, and then he hit it as I come off the, the, the back end, so pretty lucky there. Small Barry. In the death zone, come on, what's in there? Oh my god, Barry got it out of his way. There's one, yep, that's a jack for sure. He's on some sort of a branch. Oh my goodness, he had some pepper. It's just that initial hit with them. And as soon as you can stop them going where they need to go and turn them, you're all set. You're all set with them. 
Oh, you got some pepper. You want to be a dickhead? Yeah, you're not bad, that one. Good little Jacko getting trying to get through all those uh those barra. The bar are in a mood today. I'm not even setting hooks on them, I'm just letting them eat it. But yeah, I went to the um speed frog because it just gets the jacks a little bit more fired up so they'll come out and hunt it. So very good. Put him back in. Keep going. There you go. Off you go.